Hey, how's it going? And welcome to Whiskey Whims with me, Stuart. Today we've got Dal Ewan from Caden Heads. Uh, Caden Heads being an independent bottler and Dal Ewan being the distillery. Uh, it's bottled at cast strength, non chill filtered, no added colouring. Uh, the cast strength is 54.7%, matured in bourbon hogshead, and yeah, 15 year old. Bottled in 2020, uh, distilled in May. I think 2004, I think May was right. Uh, no, it just says 2004. It cost, I believe, sorry, cat hair everywhere. It cost about £55 when it first came out, and I picked it up on the secondary market on auction for about £70. So I paid a little bit more for it, but I'd been told that it was a good dram and worth it. Uh, so you can see I'm halfway through it. I thought it was a great time to review it. It's a distillery that probably gets overlooked quite a lot. Uh, as a mainly goes to blends and yeah I thought why not explore it so if you're new here how I do my reviews how I rate my whiskies I don't use a scoring system as I don't think there's much value in that for me I rate it on three factors whether I'd buy it again whether I think it's worth it uh, which kind of coincide and would I recommend it if the whiskey at least gets two out of three uh, then it's a whiskey win meaning yeah it's good whiskey if it only gets one out of three then it's usually a whiskey bin. Uh, so we'll get right down to the nose, uh, the palate, and see what this has to offer. It's very fresh on the nose, but not fresh as in young. Uh, it's more like fresh, kind of green apples, uh, wet green apples, just rinsed with water. Yeah, there's a lot of like kind of green fruits. Possibly something like pear. It's a little tangy uh, on the nose. I want to say there's something menthol there. Maybe like uh, peppermint. Yeah, a lot of green elements, kind of almost green tea. Uh, like I said, with the peppermint, kind of green uh, mint leaves, the green apples. You're also getting a little bit of barley here though. It's a little... I'm not sure what the word would be. A little zesty. I think I said tangy. It's also zesty. Maybe something like limes uh, on the palate. Uh, the nose, sorry. Yeah, like citric, citrus limes. The real fresh, that minty. Uh, it's like someone with chewing gum breath is breathing in your face, <laughs> uh, that's how I de describe it. It's really fresh, really minty, uh, really clean, crisp, but in a good way, not a, not a young way, not a kind of off-putting. You can see the colour of that, it's very, very light. Possibly a little, a little like, touch of creaminess or something. Uh, I'm not getting a lot of bourbon element, like I'm not getting a lot of kind of cream, uh, vanilla, I'm just getting a touch of cream, but this seems to me more of the distillate coming through rather than the cask. Yeah, that lovely lime and that, that lime and mint, almost like a mojito, <laughs> uh, now that I think about it, it's, it's sort of mojito uh, in, in, in character. We'll get down to the palate. I forgot to say as well, uh, Happy New Year, hope everyone had a good Christmas because uh, this will be my first video. Christmas hasn't actually technically gone yet for me as, as I'm recording this but yeah, when I release this it will be. So yeah, Merry Christmas and Happy New Year, hope you all had a good one. Uh, cheers, the pal. Mm. Oh, that's... I've been eating kiwi all week <laughs> and uh, I don't know if that's... Um, Maybe something to do with this, but I'm sure I'm getting kiwi quite evidently, quite powerful. I'm getting the uh, acidic kind of prickly um, feeling in your, your tongue that the kiwi provides, and I'm getting it here. So it's just exploding with kiwi, pure, yeah, kiwi in the palate. It's great. More green apples. Uh, maybe something like rolled oats or something on the palate.
zesty again, limey. It's quite a consistent uh, whiskey from the, the nose and the, the palate. There's a little kind of, it's like lactic acid or something. It's, is that the right word? Hmm. Something nutty there. Maybe something like nutmeg or. Is it a kind of. Because nutmeg is more like a kind of Christmassy spice, more like a cooking spice. I don't know if it is nutmeg, if it's like a. Or if it's like an actual. What's those ones that I make my. <laughs> sorry. I make a katsu curry and it's not nutmeg and I get the uh, flakes. And I crush them up and I put them as my breadcrumbs instead of breadcrumbs on my katsu curry. What are they called? Flaked something, flaked almonds. Flaked almonds. There's definitely almonds here on the, the palate. That nuttiness, I thought it was nutmeg, I thought it was something like that, but no, it's almonds. Uh, it's like flaked, crushed almonds. Uh, you're getting all those, maybe even roasted. Get them in a frying pan, roast them up a little. Num, 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 num. Lovely stuff. This is cracking. Uh, this is not sherry bold in your face this just feels like pure distillate pure uh, spirit maybe not even spirit just whiskey as it should be whiskey as it is <laughs> uh, nothing hiding it just the character of the whiskey coming through the character of the distillery coming through uh, and i'm really enjoying it it's yeah it's lovely i'm going to add a little water to it very uh, unconventional for me, I rarely add water to whiskies when I'm reviewing them. I do add them off camera uh, and I'm using the Ralphie teaspoon method, but uh, I rarely add water when I'm reviewing because it just adds a lot of time to it. Uh, so anyway, we'll, we'll, we'll see what this is like with water, a little bit of water in it. So it was a little bit creamy in the palate, but nothing... Once again, it's more of the distillate that's coming through rather than the cask. Mm. A little dusty now, with the addition of water, really waxy, um, yeah almost like oily but waxy, it's, it's reminiscent of Klein Leash, the waxiness you get from Klein Leash, uh, quite, yeah really waxy, I think that's the only way to describe it, and like I said a little dunnage element coming through after the addition of water, a little dusty, a little fusty, um, yeah, really lovely. The finish. Yeah, still waxy in the finish. Maybe something like to go with from earlier with the green fruits, the apples. Uh, I want to say something like pears, maybe cut pears. Uh, not necessarily like the skin, more j just the body of the pear. The, the, the the fruit itself rather than the the skin the flesh um, so yeah pears waxy um, more rolled oats more I was gonna say am I getting creamy I'm, I don't think I am I was gonna say like porridge but there's no creamy this and there for me to say porridge just maybe more rolled oats more barley more kind of grist uh, yeah just like being at a, a distillery being at the mill and, and getting the, the, the barley all milled up and smelling it and tasting it, it's, 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 it's like that, maybe like a little hoppy or something. It's just a great whiskey. Um, <laughs> it's well presented uh, and I don't think, it, it, would have, it might have been good in sherry, but how this is presented at the moment is fantastic. I'm really enjoying it, uh, if you couldn't tell. I've, I've tried not to finish it, um, I do have it at the one of the lower shelves so that I don't see it, so that it's not my site because I'm not really wanting to finish it because, well I suppose I could probably get it on auction again but hopefully at a good price. Anyway, we'll get down to my, my review, I think you know what it's going to be. So, would I buy it again? I think I would. Once this is finished, I wouldn't mind having another bottle of this or have a few bottles of this. It's a good whiskey to remind you why you're drinking whiskey, <laughs> if that makes sense. It's just well presented in what whiskey should be about, uh, I don't know if that even makes sense, it's just well presented, well priced, 
Uh, nice cast strength. You can't really argue with it. There's nothing really, there's no real flaws here. Maybe it's quite consistent from palate to nose to finish. The, the additional water changes it up a little bit. But maybe just saying it's a bit consistent is probably the only flaw I could pick up on, if that's a flaw. But it's something that if you were decided to stop drinking whiskey and someone said, oh, just go and just try this and see what you think, it might pull you back in. Uh, so yeah, it's a, it's a whiskey to remind you why you're drinking whiskey. So I would buy it again. I think it's worth it. The RRP it came out and even at the £70 I paid, I would probably pay as much as... 80, 90 pound because it is a nice dram. 90 might be pushing it, uh, but it's 15 year old cast strength. Uh, you don't get a lot of that from other distilleries, other independent bottlers at that price. So yeah, I think it's worth it and I'd recommend trying it. If you've got the opportunity to try this, definitely try it. Just take your time. It, it does require a little bit of time, a little bit of thought. The uh, thoughts aren't as, sorry, the, 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 the palate, the, the tasting and all that isn't as bold and as evident as kind of sherry whiskies. Uh, it does take a little bit of concentration. I've re had this many occasions. I've not got any notes at the moment, but I've written notes down and uh, I kind of know the, the flavours as it is. Uh, so once you've, you've found those flavours, it's easy to bring them back again. Uh, but yeah, it, it takes a little bit of time, uh, but it will reward you if you take the time to get to know it. So I think that's all I've got to say. Uh, yeah, once again, I hope you all had a good new year, good Christmas. Uh, yeah, that's it. I've been Stuart, this has been Whiskey Wims, uh, and he's been Jasper. I'll see you later.